please welcome to Colorado State University Pueblo, home of the Chief Wolves. I'm Ferrari St. Paul and I will be your host for the day. So let's get ready. Let's go Team Wolves. CSU Pueblo is located in Northeast Pueblo, less than two hours south of Denver and within a short drive of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. Of course we have a river with a kayak course and white water. We have bike paths, both mountain bike and road bike paths throughout the area. We have skiing and snowboarding just a couple of hours to the west. Pueblo's campus is in the foothills of the Rocky Mountains on 275 acres. Plus, CSU Pueblo lies just east of the 18-hole championship walking stick golf course, host of the 2006 U.S. Women's Amateur Public Links Championship. We get like 300 plus days of sun, so we like it's like 65 in January, and then it might be 20, but you know next day, but it's always sunny. Okay, so here's what people do: they golf year-round in Colorado. Who, what, what? You can golf year-round? Yeah, people golf year-round. So we have water skiing, we have you know jet skiing on a reservoir. It's a world-class you know resort area. You know, we have, obviously, the slopes are nearby, so we have snowboarding and skiing, and, you know, snowshoeing, outdoor skiing, we have fishing and hunting. We have a lot of people just come for the fishing and hunting, no kidding, you know. Uh, you know, we call out Springs, world-class city, the Olympic Training Center, a lot of, it's a recreation mecca, you know, a lot of cool things. Uh, if you like pro sports, Broncos, Nuggets, Rockies, Avalanche, up there. Current enrollment at CSU is nearly 5,000 students. 56% women, 44% men, and nearly 40% ethnic minorities. The student body is among the most diverse of any Colorado University, with students representing all continents but Antarctica and Australia. CSU Pueblo is a school that's growing, so you have a good chance of being admitted as long as you have the required 86 index, which is a combination of high school GPA and test scores. Uh, for certain programs, it's more challenging. If you want to be admitted into the nursing program, that's more, more competitive because there are limited spaces. A full-time resident undergraduate student will pay an annual tuition of around $4,000, while for a non-resident undergraduate, it's closer to $14,000. All students who live on campus will pay roughly $1,000 for mandatory fees and $6,500 towards room and board. Most residents receive scholarships, grants, and other aid, and all non-residents get their tuition discounted. If you already live in the state of Colorado, come to CSU Pueblo to earn your four-year reward. If you graduate within four years, the school will award you your degree and cut you a check for up to $1,500. CSU Pueblo offers 26 bachelor's degrees and six master's degrees. Just a few student favorites are mass communications, business, nursing, teacher education, and psychology. It's our mass communications program is very well known. Most of the uh, people who work here in Southern Colorado in TV and radio and at the newspaper have come through this program. They have a great nursing program, very, very good business school, and a good education program. The Mass Communications Department and Center for New Media is the only program in the state to offer hands-on experience with a public television station. This is the Revolution Rev 89, so the Colorado's number one hip-hop station a student-run radio station, and the student newspaper. And everywhere that I looked was, you know, you can't do anything until you're a junior. You can't do anything until you're a senior. And I walked in here uh, the summer before I started, talked to the station manager, and he said he'd have me on air in eight weeks. Plus, Colorado State University Pueblo is the only school in the nation to offer a degree program in mechatronics, which combines electrical and mechanical engineering all in one. It's amazing to me at such a small school we have faculty that have had national awards that are, um, that are really high quality but yet want to be at a smaller school and be focused on the student. CSU Pueblo has more than 375 faculty members. 74% have terminal degrees and 54% are full-time. The CSU Pueblo Thunderwolves compete in the NCAA Division II Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference in 15 sports. At CSU Pueblo, the Olympic rings are in reach. The Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs is less than an hour from campus. As part of the university's accredited athletic training education program, undergrads conduct research where the nation's top athletes train. Plus, who knows, you might get the chance to meet an Olympian. All single, first-year freshmen under the age of 21 with a home address more than 50 miles from campus are required to live in the Belmont Residence Halls and obtain a campus meal plan. Approximately 15% of the student body resides either here or in the walking stick apartment complex for upperclassmen. 
CSU Pueblo offers more than 70 clubs and organizations, including outdoor adventures here at the intramural leagues and events like video game tournaments, dodgeball, and even checkers. And um, primarily those students are in our exercise science emphasis. And one of our um, faculty members, George Dowling, is an Olympic coach. And so we have access to the Olympic Training Center and we um, have students that have done internships in their strength and conditioning area as well as their um, laboratory, their high performance laboratory. So that's pretty exciting for our students to have access to a place like the Olympic Training Center. The Experiential Learning Center hosts canyon and desert orientation trips as well as ice and rock climbing adventures throughout the year. Looking for a place that reminds you of the comforts of home with great academics and bundles of outdoor activities? Then Colorado State University Pueblo is for you. Well, that's it for the CSU Thunderwolves in Pueblo, Colorado. I'm Ferrari St. Paul, and I'll see you out there. Bye.